It's occupied a corner in downtown Grove for as long as anyone can remember. The water toys floating on the breeze outside of Grand Lake Sports Center have changed with the trends over the years. But what hasn't changed is that just like in the 1960s, this is the designated first stop. It's a 40-year tradition that the quintessential Grand Lake adventure starts right here. Third generation store owner Sam Williams says not all of his customers are in a big hurry to get out on the lake. He catches many of them simply a wash in memories. My grandpa brought me in here when I was just a little kid and I can't believe this store is still here. And uh, I hear it constantly. You know, they just can't believe the bait shop's been here this long. What began as a bait farm evolved into a retail store as well as a wholesale bait business. My grandpa just had a little empire going on. And like any place that survived long enough to cross over into legendary status, Grand Lake Sports Center has become an unofficial museum of sorts. A lot of history here. There's a lot of, uh, we have a lot of newspaper articles and pictures from the, from the early 60s, uh, you know, in the 70s. Uh, people come in all excited if they need uh, advice on where to go go fishing or what baits to use, we try to assist them in any way that we can. Sam's dad, Dave, is officially retired, but still shows up here pretty often, sometimes out of habit, and other times because he just loves the customers. My grandpa and my dad, I mean, they were men of, they were just a conversation piece. They were entertaining, they always had something exciting going on, and I'm trying to, to carry that on. Sam has put his own twist on the place, adding live tanks of fish, turtles, talking birds, even a tarantula. And he's recently revived a long forgotten Grand Lake tradition, the bobber drop. And my grandpa had this idea and he flew over the lake with an airplane. And back then he had 3,000 bobbers and he wrote numbers on them and he threw them down into Grand Lake. Folks would retrieve the bobbers and return them to the store to see if they'd won a prize. Look for the bobber drop to once again be an annual event. There's a lot of talk about how quickly things change and of how the world is evolving at a breakneck pace. But it's heartening to note that on a corner in Grove anyway, things are just exactly as you remember. At the Grand Lake Sports Center in Grove, I'm Shell Wagner.